The mind is a control center of our lives, determining how we feel, think, and act. Achieving mastery of the mind is a critical component of achieving fulfillment, success, and personal growth. To live fully, we must understand how to cultivate mental strength, clarity, and emotional intelligence. In this video, we'll explore the key principles of mental mastery supported by evidence-backed research and provide practical applications to help you enhance your mental capabilities and lead more fulfilling lives. To start, let's discuss what mental mastery is. Mental mastery refers to the ability to control one's thoughts, emotions, and reactions to external circumstances. It is a practice of becoming fully aware of your mental processes and gaining control over them to make better decisions, handle stress, and pursue goals effectively. Mental mastery is not about suppressing emotions, but about understanding and managing them in a way that enhances personal growth and resilience. A study published in the journal Emotion found that individuals who practice emotional regulation through mindfulness experience reduced stress and increased well-being. This highlights that managing mental processes contributes to both psychological health and general life satisfaction. I found that meditating has made specific high-pressure scenarios such as day trading, caring for patients, managing angry people, and negotiating business really calm, where originally I would feel anxious and antsy. Now I approach these high-stress situations and environments with more clarity and rationality. Let's dive into this topic of mindfulness and self-awareness more, which is the first component of mental mastery. Mindfulness is a practice of being present in the moment, fully aware of your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. Cultivating mindfulness enhances self-awareness, helping you observe your mental patterns and behaviors. To practice mindfulness, dedicate 10 to 15 minutes each day to mindfulness meditation. Sit in a quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. When your mind wanders, gently bring back your attention to your breath. Over time, this practice will help you become more aware of your thoughts and less reactive to negative emotions. A meta-analysis of mindfulness interventions published in Clinical Psychology Review found that mindfulness meditation significantly reduces symptoms of anxiety, depression, and stress while improving cognitive function and self-awareness. The second component of mental mastery is EQ, or emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence refers to the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. High emotional intelligence is critical for developing healthy relationships making rational decisions, and handling stress. To improve emotional intelligence, start by practicing empathy. Pay close attention to the emotions of those around you, whether at work or in your personal life. Ask questions about their feelings and experiences and actively listen to their responses. Additionally, use self-reflection to analyze your own emotional reactions to various situations. Over time, this will help you better understand and regulate your emotions. I found that looking at what other people need can be very effective in getting what you ultimately need. Sometimes you're so focused on what you need that the answer you're looking for is simply in opening your narrow focus and helping the person in front of you. As everyone's so focused on their own goals, dreams, and plans, you'll stand out from the rest by helping others achieve their dreams. Research from the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology has shown that people with higher emotional intelligence have better interpersonal relationships, higher job satisfaction, and are better equipped to handle conflicts. EQ is a key predictor of success in personal and professional life. So don't just raise your IQ up, raise your EQ up. The third component is mental resilience and growth mindset. Listen, life has setbacks and roadblocks along the way. And if you're chasing excellence, the nature of these setbacks are even tougher. A prerequisite to succeed is to be mentally resilient. Mental resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, adversity, or failures. It is a cornerstone of mental toughness, which allows individuals to stay focused and motivated in the face of challenges. A growth mindset is a belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. People with a growth mindset view failure 
as a learning opportunity rather than a reflection of their own self-work. You'll be surprised as to how many people around you have simply just given up growing, reading, and learning. They're physically and mentally stagnant, doing things out of repetition like robots and NPCs. Yeah, they're physically alive, but have suicided spiritually. So how to break free from this? Start by reframing challenges as learning opportunities. When faced with failure, reflect on what went wrong and what can be improved, rather than focusing on a negative outcome. You can also practice mental resilience by pushing yourself out of your comfort zone in small and manageable ways. Whether it's taking on a challenging project at work, learning a new skill, or picking up a new hobby that you are always interested in. Listen, everything in this world is learnable. Champions are made, not born. You don't just wake up with exceptional skill sets and abilities. You put the time and focus into it for extended periods of time to get the result that you want. Studies published show that individuals with a growth mindset tend to achieve higher levels of success as they are more likely to persist through difficulties and invest effort into continuous improvement. Additionally, another study that I found indicated that mental resilience is associated with lower levels of burnout and better psychological well-being. So if you're going to take anything away from this section, just have an open mind and always be willing to learn. The fourth component of mental mastery is cognitive reframing and positive thinking. Cognitive reframing is a technique used to change the way you perceive a situation by altering your interpretation of it. This approach allows you to turn a negative thought into a more positive or neutral one, which leads to improved emotional responses. The next time you face a setback, ask yourself how you can reframe the situation. Instead of viewing it as a failure, consider what lessons you can learn and how it may present new opportunities. Keep a gratitude journal where you write down three positive things that happen each day, no matter how small. This habit trains your brain to focus on the positive aspects of life. One study showed that practicing gratitude significantly enhances your mental well-being increases optimism, and reduces negative thinking. Cognitive reframing has been widely used in cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, to treat anxiety, depression, and stress. Honestly, it's crazy how every problem you have in your life comes back to the reprogramming and restructuring of your mind. I believe that your mind and your brain are malleable, and that you decide how your body is programmed to think and act. Garbage in, garbage out you decide what you want to put in it. The fifth component is focus and mental clarity. Maintaining focus and mental clarity is essential for productivity and goal achievement. In today's digital age, distractions are plentiful, making it more difficult to sustain focus on meaningful tasks. Here's a practical application I have for you. Use a Pomodoro technique. Work on a task for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. After four intervals, Take a longer break. Eliminate distractions by silencing your phone, closing unnecessary tabs, and setting a designated time for checking emails and social media. Regular exercise, particularly aerobic exercises, has also been shown to improve cognitive function and mental clarity. A study from the Harvard Business Review showed that employees who use techniques like the Pomodoro method or scheduled work sprints report higher levels of productivity and reduce mental fatigue. Additionally, research shows that exercise, especially cardiovascular workouts, enhances both focus and memory. Listen, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations, because that shows your focus and your willingness to improve your mindset. I just have three practical strategies for everyday use for you. First, develop a morning routine for mental clarity. A structured morning routine sets the tone for the rest of the day and primes your mind for productivity and focus. Start each day with a 10 minute meditation or mindfulness practice to clear your mind. Follow that with journaling where you write down your goals for the day and any thoughts or concerns you want to address. Engage in light physical activity such as stretching or walking to wake up your body and your mind. Lastly, nourish yourself with a healthy breakfast that includes protein and complex carbs that fuel your brain. Studies from Harvard Medical School show that morning routines that incorporate mindfulness, journaling, and exercise have been shown to increase productivity and emotional well-being throughout the day. My second practical use for you 
is engage in lifelong learning. The brain is a muscle that strengthens through use, and engaging in continuous learning keeps it sharp. So set aside time each week to learn something new, whether through books, online courses, or podcasts. Personally, I'm always reading two to three books at a time, and my favorite podcasts are the All In Podcast and the Founders Podcast. I'd encourage you to focus on subjects that challenge your thinking, such as critical reasoning, logic, or problem solving. In addition to academic learning, engage in hobbies or activities that stimulate different parts of your brain, such as playing a musical instrument, painting, or learning a new language. One published study showed that individuals who engage in lifelong learning activities have better cognitive health and are less likely to experience cognitive decline as they age. Lastly, build mental endurance through stress management. Stress is inevitable, but learning how to manage it effectively is key to maintaining mental clarity and resilience. Use breathing techniques such as the 478 technique. This is where you inhale for 4 seconds, hold for 7 seconds, and exhale for 8. This will calm your nervous system during stressful moments. Regularly practice relaxation techniques such as yoga, mindfulness, or guided meditation. Don't forget to regularly engage in physical exercise to release endorphins, which are natural stress relievers. Evidence shows that stress management techniques like deep breathing and yoga significantly reduce cortisol levels and improve mental clarity and emotional resilience. Listen, mastering the mind is not about eliminating negative emotions, but rather about gaining the ability to navigate life's complexities with resilience, focus, and emotional intelligence. Through practices like mindfulness, cognitive reframing, and emotional intelligence, you can build a mind that works for you rather than against you. By continually investing in your personal growth and mental well-being, you can achieve not only success in your endeavors, but also a deeper sense of fulfillment and life satisfaction. That's it for the video. Smash that like button if you learned something. And I'm wishing you the best of luck on your own journey towards mastering your mind and unlocking your fullest potential.